Another thing is that I'm really, really Y'all, I just literally, <sighs> I just literally did my whole intro with my headscarf on to lay my edges. <sighs> Gotta lay those baby hairs. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's Love Always Endures, and to those of you who are new, welcome. So today I'm coming at you with something new, something exciting, something that I have been personally waiting for for forever. At least it feels like it. 18 months. 18 whole months. I'm getting a puppy. Who let the dogs out? It's a long story as to why it's been 18 months, but it's where we are. I'm getting a puppy in a couple of weeks. I've got a bunch of stuff I've accumulated over the past 18 months and I wanna share it with you all. I've also learned so much and I don't even know how to express everything that I've learned in one video, so I'm making a series. That's all I can do is make a series. It's gonna be about everything puppy. What you need when you first get your puppy, the first 24 hours with your puppy, puppy training, puppy manners, puppy obedience, puppy feeding, puppy playing, like everything associated with puppies and just what I learn along the way because guess what? As much research as I've done and despite the fact that I professionally dog sit on the side, I've never had a puppy, ever. This is a new experience for me and I'm excited and I wanna share it and I wanna be able to look back at it and learn from it and grow from it and so it's going on YouTube. Let's just get started. I just wanted to share right now, this video is literally just to show what I have collected in preparation for this puppy. And mind you, I actually did a video already months ago and I'm glad that I didn't post it one, I was having lighting issues. And then two, I've accumulated a lot more stuff since then and I've learned a lot more since then. And so we just gonna try it again, real deal style. I got a lot of stuff here. And I don't know if you can see, but if you look in the back, that's a bag of dog food. It is a 34 pound bag of Purina Pro Plan Focus Large Breed Puppy. Okay, so let's get started. I got a lot of stuff and I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not really organized, so we just gonna do what it do. Okay, first, I'm just gonna pull this whole stack. It's gonna fall over, okay. So in the stack, I have three separate things here. I know it looks like a bunch of fabric, but this is one of the things. This is a Puppy training pad. I know you can't tell, but it is. It's huge, first of all. I ordered a pack of two. This is the red one, and then there's also a blue striped one. What's it called when it's stripes? Plaid. It's plaid. If you look at the bottom, you'll see the little grippies. So it's meant to grip to the floor. It's waterproof. And it's actually not just for pets. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. It can be for people and humans too. Anywhere that you have unexpected leakages, <laughs> you can use this. I'm going to be using them underneath his crates. And when I say crates, I'm saying crates plural because I'm gonna have two crates. I'm gonna have one downstairs and one upstairs. These will go underneath the crates. They will also go on the back seat of the car when I'm bringing him home because I, it's a puppy, so you can expect accidents, right? Next, I got a pair of towels. These are just regular dog towels. I just thought they were cute. They came in a two pack off of Amazon. They are terry material um, and supposed to be super absorbent. I bought another set as well. Another set of two, a dark blue set that I'm keeping in the car. Puppy parents, prepare for accidents, prepare for spills, prepare for messiness. You never know. That's a fear that I have. So I do have some dark blue puppy towels in my trunk. And then all the rest of the stack are doggy blankets doggy blankets. I'll be lining his kennel, the bottom of his kennel with blankets instead of a bed. And then as he has an accident on it, I can throw it in the washing machine. Hopefully there's not gonna be an accident, but I'm being realistic. It's a puppy, so there will be, but we're hoping for minimal accidents. I've only got two dog beds as of now. Um, and that's just because I don't know if he's gonna be the type of dog that likes to ball up when he sleeps, thus needing a cuddler, or if he's gonna be that dog that likes to sprawl out when he sleeps, thus needing like a bed mat. I'm gonna see what type of sleeper he is to decide what type of big dog bed to get, but for the smaller size, I've got this cuddler here, and then I'm sitting on the other one. This one, 
this is one of those anxiety beds. This is a travel bed. I'm not gonna take it out, but um, it's a travel bed. It's, it's sleeping bag material and it fits in this bed like this, bag like this, and it's much, much better for a big dog to tote than actually toting a huge bed, so. As far as toys go, I'm trying my best to be mindful of the different types of toys that you can get a dog and also not going too overboard in one area or another because I don't know what my dog's gonna prefer. I just started out with a couple of things just to get myself started. I did get some soft toys. I've learned that when a dog likes to chew and they're going through their teething stage or they're nipping or whatever and they're grabbing on soft things that they shouldn't grab on like your clothes or a pillow or something like that you're supposed to exchange the toy to match the texture so soft for soft and hard for hard i intentionally did not buy any toys with stuffing i've had my bout with stuffing in the past with dogs i think it's a choking hazard it's a mess to clean up and also too i'm concerned because once a dog starts loving pulling out stuffing they destroy other things. I had a dog who just loved destroying his own dog bed because he was obsessed with stuffing. And I just wonder if he was a puppy and, and he hadn't built that obsession, if it wouldn't be that bad. Like he literally couldn't be alone with his own dog bed. He had to be supervised if he was gonna be on his bed. Also too, they have a cool little pocket where you can put a water bottle. I thought that was really cool. Um, it adds a little bit of texture and stuff like that goes right in there, close it up, and the dog can crunch on it. And when it's all crunched out, toss it, recycle it, and put another water bottle in there. Got this, this is a leather squirrel toy. Also has a squeaker. It's supposed to be for heavier duty chewers, but it's a little harder, if that makes sense. Like it's actually firm, I don't know, you can't tell, but it's a firm toy. This guy is for the crinkle, the crinkle um, need, right? That texture, that sound. And then this is just a squeaky toy. Again, no stuffing. <laughs> and then I've got a rope toy. And I've got two, here we go. Two. That was weird. That was like a surround sound experience. <laughs> That's a strong squeaker. This is like your generic squeaky toy sound that you hear if you like, wow, okay. Sorry, had a moment. I have a couple of enrichment toys slash games. So I've got a puppy Kong. I recently learned that the Kong colors mean something different. So puppies are the baby blue and then the baby pink color. Then there is the red, which is the original. There's the black, which is for tough chewers. And then there's the purple, which is for senior dogs who often have, um, you know, their teeth are falling out or what, what have you. Um, they can't chew as, as, as much as a regular adult dog can. You also wanna make sure that you're mindful of the size of your toys. So. This puppy one is in medium because he's only gonna be about 10 or so pounds, maybe maybe up to 12 pounds when I get him. When he hits nine months, he's gonna need to graduate. I'll probably have to graduate him sooner to the large puppy one, and then I'll graduate him to the large adult one. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. I'm gonna fill this with peanut butter, applesauce, cream cheese, yogurt, um, treats, and freeze it. So I need to go ahead and get my hand on several more of these so that I can have them kind of loaded up in the freezer for when I need them so that I'm never caught without one. This is also an enrichment toy slash feeder. Um, you put their food in here and treats and it, it's called the Zogo Flex. It basically wobbles around. You can also put a top on it that's also another Zogo Flex that's bigger and they kind of screw into each other and you can just fill it up and let the dog move it around and pull all the treats out of it. I also got this by Outward Hound. It is a interactive dog toy. Honestly, it's a little complicated. It's actually level three. I was not aware of that when I bought it. But basically the way it's set up is that each drawer has a lock. So when the bones are situated outside of the grid, then it's locked. So for instance, this one's locked, this one's unlocked. See, this one's locked. But when the dog unlocks it, yeah. 
So just imagine like the thought process that a dog has to go through to understand how to unlock this. I think that's really cool. I'm gonna do lots of other enrichments and stuff. I'm actually gonna do a whole video on enrichment activities that I've been learning about because there's a lot of really cool things out there that um, you can do that are inexpensive that you probably already have lying around the house that help to enrich your dog. As far as hard things, so remember I talked about exchanging soft for soft while exchanging hard for hard. I've got two things here. They're both puppy, uh oh, sorry. They're both puppy um, strength, puppy for soft to modest chewers. This is a Benabone. I've heard great things about Benabone. They are flavored. This one's supposed to be real bacon flavored. And then this is a Nylabone, which is also flavored. It is chicken flavor. Um, and it's for softer teethers, chewers and teethers. So two things that are gonna be for in the crate. Um, I've read a lot of reviews on these and they're supposed to be super safe. I still intend to make sure that he's gonna be monitored while he's chewing on things. But by the same token, um, something that is gonna be sturdy, that's not gonna break off in his mouth that he can swallow, is gonna be important. And something that's way bigger than he can swallow is also gonna be important, and both of these are that. I also decided to go ahead and get the digs tool, um, the crate, what is this called? I think this is called the crate tool by digs. But basically it looks like a pacifier or a popsicle or something, and you put peanut butter or you wet their dog kibble and freeze it, you know, get it into mush and then freeze it onto here, and basically, stick it, you jam it into the sides of the kennel of the crate and you let them lick on it and chew on it and, and kind of self-soothe. So in the beginning when I'm trying to get him used to the crate and trying to get him excited about it, I'm gonna be using this. I also got a lick mat. Um, it has little squeegee suction cups on the back. So this is gonna be for when he's in the bathtub and I'm trying to provide him with a good experience in the bathtub, some positive association. Again, peanut butter, applesauce, yogurt, whatever. Goes on this and it gives him something to, to do. Before we start talking about treats, I just wanna show you the treat holder that I got. This is it. What I like about it is it has this clip on it so that it can go on your belt or your pants loop or whatever. Um, and then it also has a magnetic close and it's silicone. The silicone part is what got me the most because I'm gonna be putting pieces of chicken from dinner and, 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 and hot dogs and freeze dried stuff in here and I just imagine if this was made out of fabric, it would smell really bad over time and it would be very difficult to clean. Whereas this, I can actually wash it out with soap and water. It will be attached to me wherever I go for the next several months. However, I also thought of something else that I wanted to show. I went ahead and got this. This is just a box full of jars. They're four ounce jars and they just have a lid. And I'm gonna put these around the house. So I'm gonna have one in the car, one by the front door, one by the back door, and one upstairs in the bedroom. So that no matter where I am, I'm never caught without a treat. So as far as treats go, so I have a couple of treats that I bought that I was really excited about, but I have since decided that I really wanna focus mostly on single ingredient treats. So the Vital Essentials, I went ahead, I got the salmon, the free, oh, I'm sorry, this is freeze dried salmon, freeze dried bully sticks, freeze dried minnows, and then freeze dried chicken, yeah, chicken breast. Really excited about trying these treats out. These are gonna be my high, motivators okay these are these are going to be the treats that you use when you're outside of the house when the distractions are high and you need their dog to choose between you and a squirrel see what i'm saying that's what this is so i got a couple of grooming tools i got a slicker brush you see that you press that and the bristles go away and then you can pull the hair off um i'm getting a dog that is going to be high maintenance in the grooming department so i'm going to have to brush him every other night so that's the slicker brush. I will be using detangling spray as well to kind of help me get all the kinks out because apparently if I fall off the bandwagon and I and I don't brush him like I should, his hair will get matted. I also got some color enhanced shampoo. This is for black dogs. My dog will be black, okay? It's supposed to help keep its coat nice and shiny and black. And of course, conditioner. You know I can't do without conditioner. And some of y'all know, you black girls, you know mane and tail used to be a staple in our actual hair regimen. And it smells so good. I can't help but smell it. Hold on. Mm. I also got a toothbrush kit. Um, this one's for puppies. It's enzymatic toothpaste. And it also comes with a tiny toothbrush, a toothbrush cover, and then also a finger brush that's made out of like a towel material. So I thought that was really cute. Collars. 
and leashes. This is what I've got. I got him a custom collar. I'm not gonna let you see the name. It's not a name revealed just yet, but this is his collar. Um, his neck will be, this actually will probably fit on him when he first gets here. Um, and then obviously it can get significantly bigger. I'm gonna have to get another one. Um, but I want him to have a nice collar that fits, that's his first collar. I also got him a waterproof collar as well. Um, again, ooh, did you see that? I don't think you saw that. I can't let you see this side because his name is on it. Um, but this is the orange, neon orange silicone, uh, or neoprene, I think it is, collar. Um, it comes with a matching leash. This is gonna be for when he spends time in the water because you already know a wet leash and a wet collar smell really, really bad. So to avoid having to wash them, that's what we are gonna use. I also did get him a retractable leash. However, I have since learned that it's actually not a good idea to start using a retractable leash out the gate. So he probably won't use this thing until he's probably at least a year old. He's gonna be using this one instead. This is a training leash. It's not very long. I believe it's six feet long. This is by Sporn, if you're wondering. Sporn. Then I got this harness. This is just a little cute, small, cheap harness. He's gonna grow out of it so fast. Um, but it's comfortable and it's really lightweight, which is something I was looking forward to for him. And this is his bag. This is his duffel bag when he travels. This is by Dog Gear. Um, here are his poop bags here. When he's traveling, I'm gonna stick his stuff in there. I've got a couple more things. We're almost through. Believe it or not, we're almost through. So I went ahead and got this. Actually, one of my friends got this for me as a puppy warming gift. Um, it's a puppy cam. It's really just a cam, but a lot of people use it for their puppies. Um, it's sound activated and motion activated, and it's also great at night. So I'm gonna angle this towards his kennel, especially in the beginning when I'm just starting to leave the house for the first time and he's in his kennel, just to make sure that he's safe. Keep in mind, you always wanna make sure you take your collar off of your puppy before you put him in the kennel, especially if it's gonna be while you are away or overnight. And then obviously make sure that there's nothing in the kennel that could be a choking hazard to him. But just in case, your girl got a camera, okay? We don't play. I got him a snuggle puppy. I thought this was super cute. It's black, just like he's gonna be. And um, it has a Velcro pouch in there in which you can put in a heart. Um, I'll show it to you, actually. You can do, okay, so you can put in a heating pouch, a heating pack, if you want. So this is the heart. And I just push the button and it'll stay on for eight hours. You probably can't hear that. And push and hold for five seconds to turn off. Okay, so that's gonna go inside the puppy that he can sleep with at night in his kennel. I've heard that it is super, super helpful, especially on those first nights. As much money as I have spent, I've been told that this is the best investment that could be made. So this is the only toy that actually has stuffing in it, um, but it's gonna be his nighttime toy. So he's not gonna have access to this toy until bedtime every night. This is what the heat packs look like, by the way. I also got him a couple of other cute things. I got him a bunch of bow ties because he's got a lot of play dates coming up. A dog that's not fully vaccinated is not supposed to spend a time, is not supposed to spend time with in public places that other dogs might be going to potty. So in order to make sure that he gets socialized during his socialization window, I've set up some play dates with some of my friends and he's gonna wear bow ties on those play dates. Even though he's actually really fluffy and I'm not sure if the bow ties are even gonna show because I did get some small bow ties. I probably should have got some bigger ones. And I also got some bandanas, a whole bunch of bandanas. So yeah, for all different occasions, you know, Christmas and stuff. That's gonna be more for his photo ops. I'm gonna be taking lots and lots of pictures of him because he's only gonna be small for a very short amount of time. I also too ordered some, some food containers. So this is a small one that comes with a scoop. And then there's the large one here. So it should hold um, his dog food. And I can put treats in the top one if I want or when I travel with him we can take the top one as his food. Also too, stain and odor remover. This is enzymatic. Nature's Miracle is really awesome because they have an enzymatic formula, which if you did not know, is very, very, very important when you have potty accidents because 
regular cleaners 409 carpet spray resolve stuff like that that stuff takes care of the scent initially but the scent that dogs can smell because their noses are better still stays and it encourages other dogs to potty in that same spot when they smell another dog went but the enzymatic formula cleans it up so they can't smell it anymore and it's really truly gone I also have a travel water bottle but I'm just gonna post a picture of it so you can see it because Lord knows I don't feel like going all the way out to the car to get it but it will be staying in my trunk it's super awesome because it has a straw in it and if you squeeze it the water will fill up the bowl and when you let it go the water drains back down and it fits in your cup holder and you can hold it upside down and it doesn't spill so I'm just saying last but not least I have this puppy binder it's full of lots of things to keep track of for a new puppy so it has a page for vet records weight records new puppy checklists for just the different items the basics and stuff like that medications grooming and then it goes into your socialization checklist treat preferences potty accidents lots and lots of great things to track so i will be doing a video on this actual puppy binder where i got it from and how i use it a little bit later down the line i think that's everything y'all i really do think i covered it this was just supposed to be informative on some of the stuff that i've purchased in preparation for puppy please stay tuned for all the different things i have coming down the pipeline if you like this video i'd love to hear about it please thumbs up please comment rate subscribe go ahead and click on that bell notification so you know when I upload next and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video thanks so much for watching bye, bye.